Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Now it's been a while, I've been away for quite some time from this hobby, so I thought I'd check out on Hornby site the train sets that they had out. To my shock, I couldn't believe the price increase. The Tornado Express set here, which I got for around £100 a couple of years ago, now £190. We've got the GWR set here, high speed train set, £157. That's £40 more expensive than it was last year. The Santa's train set, £80. Valley Drifter, £98.99. But the one that shocked me the most out of them all, I've got to say, is the Coca Cola Summer train set. £120. In essence, for what is the most basic looking loco you're ever going to need, ever going to see no real effort into it an oval of third radius track and a controller 120 pound and 99p this is basically basically the christmas set that was 50 quid all day long every day every day for 120 pound now i'm not stupid i'm totally aware that costs have gone up since the pandemic and we've had a lot of everything has gone up in price you can understand that but 120 pound and 99p for what in essence is the start is just a start a tiny little start the train set to get kids involved now when you take the contrary you go over to wh smith and this is now an exclusive with them which was an argus exclusive um you get this sort of half decent looking high speed train you get side ins so obviously you get your points your oval of track you get a lot more for 99.99 99. now if you can do that with wh smith Right, then you can do that for the cheaper looking, the nastier looking sets, the little sets that get kids into it, you know, when Christmas comes around, or a, a, it's a great way of getting cheap track and getting into the hobby. A train set should be basically what a, a lost leader, and if you don't know what that uh, what that is, I'll explain it to you. With a train set, it's a lost leader, so you make very little profit or you make a loss on it. The idea behind that is that it gets people into the hobby. Once they've got their oval of track or their, their track with a, with a side in, they're going to want a platforms, stations, new rolling stock. And that's where you make your money. You're basically selling them the package to get them involved, to get them into the hobby. And then you make your real money later on. There's a company famous in America called Costco and they sell petrol and chickens at a loss. But they make a fortune on everything else because you're going to buy other stuff while you're there. Now, I'm not telling Hornby how to do business. They can do what they want. And if these were new train sets, fine, charge whatever you want. You've got a brand new set, brand new mold. Great, charge what you want. But you can't have a train set, for example, the Christmas Saint train set that everybody's got, Santa's Express, and it's always been around £50. And then now decide that it's another 30 odd pound more expensive. I can't believe that the increase can be that high. And well, the Coca Cola one blows my mind. It's just a horrible looking set to start. And hey, if you've been watching my channel, you know I'm a train set guy. I do like myself a train set. But for £120, over the track, controller, cheapest looking loco ever, you're probably not going to keep it later on when you start getting more into the hobby. Coca Cola branded, you know, it's. I just, I just don't see it. Um, you know, I understand certain sets are going to be a little bit more expensive, but the Tornado set, for example, you know, the max that usually was was £110. It's now knocking on for £190. Forget Flying Scotsman and everything else you've seen in here. You've got, they've got to do better. They have the market, especially in Britain. This is the first name that a lot of people would think of. And mum and dad, you know, the little kid comes to them and says, look, I want to get a train set to start off with. The, where are they going to get 250 quid for a basic train set? £120 for a cheap-looking Coca-Cola train set? Who's going to spend 90 quid, 80, 90 quid on Santa's Express for a little bit of fun to go around the Christmas tree? You're not going to do it. I haven't looked at the prices on the rest of the range, but I'm really hoping they haven't gone and, and done something stupid, you know, because they were on the up. Bombi was on the app. The train set is the single most important thing that gets people involved. And the reason they did train sets sold so well is because it's an all-in-one package. There's no hassle. 
for your experienced model are they going to want to buy the bits that they want to buy but for someone new or parents or even someone in the middle age just to get the basics down controller and track you don't want to pay a fortune and definitely not for the tackiest stuff i my mind is blown that the basic basic train sets and you know 040 with an oval of track is now more or ne well nearly as much and in some cases more than what you can buy a high speed set for from for example wh smith like as i said i know retailers are slightly cheaper but i've looked on hattons and other places and they obviously hornby have hiked the prices so the retailers they're not able to do them as cheap as they used to you know not even new sets absolutely shocking and like i said i've been away from this hobby for a while i've had so much on my on my plate recently with everything that's been going on they just haven't had time to make content and do things but i was shocked you know we're talking what a year ago i was looking at train sets and they these same sets now are up to you know in some cases christ they're 50 60 pound more yeah i'm i'm not seeing it i'm not seeing it now i'm sorry this isn't my usual having fun and jovial kind of video but i'm not obviously the only one thinking this this hobby is going to get to a point where it's going to be so priced out of the market. You know, you can buy even Lego, which is very, very expensive. They do a set, it's a hundred between 120 and 40, 50 pounds, depending on where you go. And it's a freight set and it comes with, you know, cars and cranes and trains and carriages. And it comes with everything, figures and all that sort of stuff. For basically what is the same price as that Coca-Cola summer train set. I just, I just don't get it. I really don't. I really don't get it. But um, yeah, I'll be back soon. You know, I, I recently bought an N gauge train set. Sorry, ramble on the edge. I fancy just having a bit of N gauge, and it was a hundred pounds. It was oval of track, but it was a bigger oval of track. You get two BR wagons. Um, you get a little loco, and that was a hundred pound. That was cheaper than the Hornby summer coca-cola summer set and it's likely that later on if you do buy that engage set that i'm on about which i'll i'll insert a picture of it's going to stay with you for the collection it can it has multiple uses it's not a silly cheap tacky looking loco but there we are that's that's my rant going on so uh, i hope everyone's doing well and everyone's surviving through these tough times and uh, i'll see you soon